Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I'm so grateful you're here. If this is your first time stopping by, I would love it if you stayed a while. Be sure to subscribe and check out that description box. It'll just tell you a little bit more about what we have going on over here. We're all about zero-based budgeting and cash stuffing, but I do love A Little Of It All. We are cash stuffing side hustles for the month of December. Thank you guys so much for making this income possible. We are stuffing a total of $312. So what that breaks down to is from YouTube, I got $167. From Etsy, I got $124. And then from my Amazon storefront links, I got $21. If I remember correctly, those are the denominations. Again, thank you guys so much. Without you, this would not be possible. Thank you for your constant support um, and encouragement in any way that you show, whether if it's watching a video all the way through with the ads, purchasing something from my Etsy shop, sharing on your YouTube or Instagram pages, giving my Amazon storefront a peruse. Like, I'm just so thankful. Like, it all means so, so, so much. So, let's go ahead and get these denominations squared away. We've got lots of different stuff. It is $312, so know that, <laughs> even though I'm not going to count it. While I'm setting this up, I am going to pop up on the screen the results of Scott's MRI. A couple of people had asked to see that. Maybe you guys can read it a little bit better than we can. I'm not so sure. We will for sure know something by tomorrow because today is Sunday when this is coming out. So his appointment is on Monday at 11. So fingers crossed that we'll have more concrete information. Thank you guys for being concerned about us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for your prayers. It means so, so, so much because while so much like amazing things, so many amazing things has, have been happening in this season, it is a lot of chaos as well. So I just, I'm feeling very at peace about everything just because I know y'all's prayers are being lifted up to us and I know God's got this. So just thank you, thank you, thank you. So today is savings challenge stuffing day. We are not doing savings challenges first. I do this every dead gum time. I know you guys are so sorry of <laughs> me doing that. First, we have to take care of our bills. Okay, first and foremost, it is Tithe. Tithe is getting $31 today, $20.31. And that will go in our Tithe envelope. And once this gets up to, you know, a certain amount where it can't really fit in the envelope anymore, I will take this to our church for our Tithe. And then in the back, I will stuff this and then probably pull it pretty quickly and get it deposited. Our credit card, Lord have mercy, where is it? There it is, is it getting $100. And that's going to be real money stuffing up in the front and I will get that deposited. That is just for paying Etsy things. I've placed a couple orders lately for supplies and freebies and new fun ideas that I'm working on. So I just need to get that paid back off. So bills are now taken care of. Now let's get to the fun stuff. You may be wondering why I have that other $100 bill here because we usually don't deal with 100s when we're doing our savings challenge stuffings. However, what I have decided to do is I am going to put this $100 in Taylor. Now, is this $100 going to me? No, probably not. This is just kind of turning into like my catch-all envelope right now. So that way, if I need to pay for any medical supplies that Scott may need, or if we need to pay for a bill or anything like that, I'm just letting it hang out in here in my envelope right now. And I'll know that if I need to pull anything to pay anything, it's going to come out of this. So that's where that $100 is going. Now we have money to do our savings challenges with, and we have some fives today. We're not doing the normal roll and save. I saw this idea from Cash Up With Grace, and she took just one savings challenge, scratched it off, and then stuffed that amount in that envelope and went through all of her envelopes and finished up a savings challenge. And I was like, I love that idea. I have so many savings challenges from you guys. You guys are so creative and so fun that I feel like I'm never going to get through them. And so I'm going to link her video below where she did that because I thought it was just the coolest and I really liked it. I just think it's such a good, fun, and useful idea to use up those savings challenges. So this savings challenge is from Yancy over at Budgeting Just Because. I don't think she has her Etsy shop open right now, but that is where I got this many, many months ago. And I'm so excited to finally get to use it. So we're just going to start at the front and work our way back and see what we can stuff where. I do have another savings challenge over here from Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307 Budgets that we can hopefully get get to so let's see what we can do and scratch today all right so number one oh lord we may not be doing this long is a ten dollars okay so in the taylor envelope i will be putting another 10 and i'm gonna put this in the back back here okay for christmas 
Okay, we scratched a 24. This is clearly a higher denominations savings challenge. No big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff $6. So five and six. Okay, extra payment. Extra payment is just getting a five. Lovely. Let's see what refinance is going to get. Refinance is going to get $10. So five and 10 perfect and then month ahead is getting 20 we're not gonna do 20 so what i'll do is i'll do two and then i'll double it for four so one two three and four perfect and then we are starting back over at the beginning with taylor And it is 15. I'm going to put six, four, five, and one. I hope you guys don't think that this is cheating, but I'm so excited to get to use some of these savings challenges that I just, I never thought that I was gonna get to, but <laughs> I keep buying them. I can't stop buying them. Everyone's just so creative and fun. So this one is officially done. Let's move on to the gold is my color, $40 savings challenge from Snow Gardener 307 and 307 Design Studios. Okay, so let's see. We'll start at the bottom. Okay, and this is a dollar. And so Christmas is getting a dollar. Perfect. Extra payment is getting three. Fun. One, two, and three. Refinance. We'll go over here for refinance. Ooh, refinance is getting seven. Okay, five, six, and seven. Month ahead, we'll pop back over here. Month ahead is getting five. Yes. And then let's start back over at the beginning at Taylor. Taylor is getting four. One, two, three, and four. Four. And Christmas. Maybe we can get a bigger one for Christmas. Okay, it's four. That is great. Four dollars. One, two, three, and four. Extra payment. Extra payment is getting two. One and two. Refinance is getting a five. Oh, we're getting to the end. And then a month ahead is getting three. We have finished another savings challenge. This one was for a total of $40. One, two, and three. And let's go ahead and start another one. Okay, so this is perfect for this time of year. We have Miss Georgette says, I can live without money, but I cannot live without love. It's a quote from Judy Garland. This is a $75 savings challenge. So we may be adding some numbers up together here. Let's see what we can get done. We're going to start at the bottom again. And okay, so Taylor is getting six. That is doable. And that is our last five. Oh, let's see how much more we can do. Okay, this may be our last scratch. Let's scratch the heart. And it is a nine. We don't have nine, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the remainder of what we do have, which is one, two, three, four, five, into Christmas. Okay, now let's give everything a count. This was so fun. I got through with two savings challenges, started another. Let me guys know what you think about this, cycling this in every once in a while. Like maybe I'll do one month a roll and save one month a scratch off because I'm so happy with how many I got done today. In the Taylor envelope, we added that $100 in, but it is also getting five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 5, 26, 
Okay, so let's see how much Taylor's gonna have total now. And Taylor, we have 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So 159 in Taylor, I've got it in there. If we need it, I'm gonna pull it and use it. If not, I'm just gonna keep saving it and saving it until we do need it or I need equipment or anything like that. So that is lovely. So Christmas, let's see what Christmas got. I believe it's got a five back here. Yep, there's a five. So Christmas got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars. So in Christmas, we are now going to have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy one, two, and three. So seventy three dollars in Christmas. Almost $100 saved back up in our Christmas envelope, and it is just January. Holy cannoli. Oh, I'm so pumped about that. All right, so extra payment got five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, and even ten dollars. That's pretty cool. And let's count and see how much we have an extra payment now. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So twenty-three dollars in extra payment. Little bits add up. I've just started stuffing these in January and we're already over twenty dollars. So refinance got five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, let's count that again. All right, so refinance got 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So 22 dollars in refinance. Let's add it into the envelope. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 dollars in refinance. Month ahead got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dollars. And in month ahead, we are now going to have 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. $38 a month ahead. Ooh. That's awesome. My friends, that is it. We have come to the end of our savings challenge, side income cash stuffing. I wanna thank you guys again for making this possible for me, for your support, for your love. It means the absolute world. I'm just so thankful. You guys are wonderful and amazing and fantastic and fabulous. Please don't ever doubt that. You're doing great things. Don't give up doing those great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.